Jody from the Clutter Free Classroom, cfclassroom.com, and this video is going to give you a close up look at my math journal product that I've created specifically to align with the Common Core. I originally did it for my third grade class, used it with them, and then I'd had some requests to create it for other grade levels, so I now have them for K through 5. Um, so this shows you the cover, which is included, just as my math journal. I think there's actually a couple different choices of it. I printed it in color and slid it inside um, a regular one-inch binder. However, I just wanted to show you it also, this is from the vocabulary one, but just give you an idea of how it looks if you print it and photocopy it in black and white, if you want to look, um, just for a way to save some money and time. But it looks great either way. I actually don't place them all into the binder to start. I just have the blank binder for each child and then we'll have them do work during work math workshop in a pocket folder and then transfer it and use it as kind of like a portfolio as the year goes on. And then you can actually reuse the binders year to year and just send the pages home. Anyway, I've just tucked inside the pages that are included in the math journal. Give you an idea of how much is included. Depending on the grade level, there's anywhere from let's say like 130 to 200 journal prompts. Each of the packets includes a blank table of contents, which you run off as many pages as you need for each student. It includes a place to write the entry number sequentially, the date that they wrote it on, journal entry. You can either use the title for the standard or have them come up with a title that they feel is appropriate. And then also they list the standard in which they've written about, which is very easy to find because in all of the Common Core products, you'll find it right in the top corner. So each of them includes some questions, some open-ended questions for them to reply to. Write a response as a place to illustrate and write the date. And this again is the third grade version, so this is what the lines will look like. Fourth grade is very similar to this. Second grade they're spread out a little bit more and for our younger learners in first and kindergarten I designed them with more place for illustration and the lines with the dots for their developing handwriting. So again, this is for standard 30A1, so it includes several different prompts for them. How can we model multiplication? Share what you know about multiplication. How do arrays represent multiplication? These can be used as essential questions for the classroom or just for them to think about. Next is a math vocabulary concept circle. This one has two words that are shown in this case, again, it's 30A1, so they're factor and product, but each of the words would normally relate to the standard that's being addressed in the prompt. In this case, they need to think about the words, they need to process how those words relate, what they mean, what they mean to the overall concept of multiplication. They can write about it, they can illustrate it. So this shows two words that they're comparing. This one has them comparing four different words. Or not really comparing, but rather just relating. Um, for comparisons, we do have Venn diagrams also included. So in this case, they would be comparing and contrasting multiplication and addition, talking about their similarities, their differences, and again, writing about it. Each of the sections is divided by a title page. You don't need to print these out. This is just when you're looking at the file to kind of give you a better idea about it. So anyway, again, this is all the pages that are included. I use them mainly during my math workshop rotations. However, they could certainly be used during writing if you want to integrate your subject areas, also for homework. So these can be found on my Teacher Pay Teacher store, or if the easiest way to access them is to just kind of go to the Clutter Free Classroom website and over on the sidebar, click on the tab for Common Core. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. And as always, you can email me through the blog if you have any questions. Take care.